Oh, there's a croc! I called it. I said it. Jags, crocs. There's another jag there. Level 15. You know what? It's coming. It's seen us. We're doing it. Hello all and welcome back to Soul Mask with me, Ironside McCool, here at Ironside Games. Thank you so much for watching. And as you see just behind me, I have managed to uh, successfully plant my four cotton seeds that we uh, we looted the other day, um, looking rather splendid. Now I have um, boosted the growth speed because it's just been playing, you know, for a couple of hours each time. And if we did that, then I don't think they would ever grow. So I have um, boosted the speed for that. Um, and I have uh, just neatened it up a bit. So I've moved them to the sides here and we've got a little bit of room there just to make it look a little bit nicer. And I've put two torches on as well for nighttime just to make it look a little bit nicer as well. So if we go onto them, we say we've got, where does it say? 19 minutes left, comfortable temperature, blah, blah, blah. Now I figured out how to, <laughs> put the fertilizer on I was doing it from here uh, and little did I know that you need to actually be on the crop plot the field to then spread the fertilizer so that was fine and also you need to do the same for when you come to water it if it hasn't rained um, you don't really need to water them too much because we are in the rainforest but sometimes you do the one thing I am um, not worrying about too much is when it says comfortable temperature sometimes it'll say too cold I don't know how to warm them up or even if we have to. So uh, someone in the comments, please just let me know if uh, anything I need to worry about. Um, and whilst we're talking about comments, thank you so much to everyone in the comments who has given me some tips and advice and your name suggestions also. All truly welcome. We'll leave it for a few more days before we change their names because I have got one other person as well. So we've now got four people to name and I may, be, may get one or two more as well so we can choose a few more of your um, name suggestions uh, for my tribe. Um, so that's our farm. So we finished that bit off nice and neatly, improved the farm and we uh, utilized this little bit um, for a turkey coop. I thought I would get that on the go and I have one lonesome solitary turkey in there at the minute getting me some uh, feces so I can make some better fertilizer and um, that's all on the go and I've got my fertilizer um, box down there a crate just for the food and the water there um, trying to keep it as organized as possible so there are two improvements to the base um, I'll show you one other improvement that I am planning on doing because I will be moving um, some people in the comments have said I'm going to end up needing to move and I did think that would be the case. So where I'm thinking is uh, somewhere further west over this region um, towards the savannah I think is over there. Obviously I don't know, got the fog or war. But that's where I'm thinking of going. Again, if there's any suggestions about where to go, um, then, then please put them down in the comments. I'm looking for somewhere relatively flat um, and a bit savannery. I want to move away from Sherwood Forest um, kind of uh, vibe uh, for that one. And I have put also quickly some wall torches inside just to add a bit of ambiance. And I'll be doing some furniture and a better bed as well, just to make it look a little bit better. And we have fully grown our alpaca. He, he, no, she, it's a female. She's um, good to go. Um, and they can carry a lot, so we're going to be taking her out on a mining run. Oh, I need to eat, I've just seen my food. There we go, I'll have a steak. Uh, so she's ready to go for a lovely bit of mining. And we've got all of our... There we go, they're utilising the map. Awesome, brilliant. And um, where was I? Yes, my next building idea is to come out down here and to do a little jetty or something going into into this little uh, pond lake that we've got and setting up some fishing traps and a little fishing area. So we'll do a jetty, maybe starting around here, going out, little pontoon somewhere in the middle and we'll uh, we'll get a little fishing cut on the go. I think that's just gonna be a turkey again. Yeah, oh, there's another one there we could capture, but we'll do that later. 
we've got uh, some exploring and adventuring to do today so as usual let's bring up the map and see where we're going yeah there's nothing else i've added other than those two bits i don't think and some lighting and the extra outcast that is it oh we will say one thing before we open up the the diary um ah it's gone earlier while i was just messing around um rain was still down here but now it's gone so i'm gonna guess i uh i have lost rain so we need uh we need to commemorate her somehow <laughs> i don't know if you can put uh, a cemetery down or something um but we need to maybe we'll put a plaque up or something like that because you can do those um something to think about is our four outcasts that we need to name so the diary let's bring the diary up and as you can see day four uh, on there we've successfully located the two scouts we uh, did the fog of war um, and we didn't explore for elites so we decided against that because of the incident with the croc um, we did get some seeds and primarily uh, we got lucky with some cotton and we'll be looking for some more of that uh, today um, and we improved the farm so I showed you our farm improvements I want to get a load more cotton and some chilies hopefully as well so moving to day five today on the job list we've got first off we want to do some mining because we found the locations to the tin and the copper and i want to go and possibly check them both out both is on the list we'll just have to see how it goes gather up some uh, some tin and copper ready for the bronze age then uh, this one's actually already done, kind of messed around with it already. Uh, we did the planting of the cotton seeds and it's very simple. You just put them into your hot bar uh, and then you can plant them along um, as normal survival games would. So opening up the map, this is my idea for today. We're not going to be, uh, well obviously we'll start from home, but the map, we're going to start down at the, the tin mine and get, gather up what we can take out what we can and hopefully level up along the way as well check out the mysterious ruins um, and then we're going to head north checking out some more ruins along the way and um, yeah we've got two ruins and then we've got the barbarian barracks now this is where cotton seeds are and some corn seeds and potato and other lootings as well um, so we're going to check out the barbarian barracks and check out the copper mine right next to it then We'll make our way east, heading back home to safety and to uh, assess whether or not we had a good day adventuring. So that is the plan for today. Now I'm going to take someone with me. Um, haven't decided which one. Probably. Now this dude's 13 just because he's do he does a lot of crafting. But he doesn't like going out. He's not an adventurer. He's not a fighter. And looking at him, I can tell why. I think this one though is behavior settings how do I see what she's good at what was it N no what is it K tribe clan there we go now she's I think this one I've got one who's really quite good hunting Nightwalker, that's the new one. I remember the Nightwalker. Skilled Warrior, Skilled Warrior, level 9, level 7. Taurus Executioner, 10% when attacking the torso. This one looks... Okay, no shooting anyway. Yeah. The experience battle tested. Damage taken is less. Right, so we want to take Outcast level 9 with us which one's that and it is this one awesome uh, let's just get her a yeah we'll get her a bone hammer uh, yeah because that's almost dead as well and so is her gear so we're going to craft her up some gear we're going to give her a bone hammer as well and we'll just leave her with that we don't ooh, don't want that in there uh, make some poison arrows because I've got two bone arrows on the weapons bench as well I haven't checked out the quality of them yet but that's what we'll do and we'll get her the bone while we do that as well so let's craft that up just see what uh, level of bows we've got fingers crossed we've got a couple of goodies hey, an epic we'll have that we'll keep that in there just in cases 
and we need to make a bone hammer. How can I make? I can make two because I've got four handles. I usually go for making two um, just in case. So we'll put that on. Now we've got 50 seconds, so we'll craft those up. I'll run off and craft us some armor as well, and then I'll bring you back with uh, her gear, show you what level we were able to craft. I do need to make some arrows as well. Um, hopefully we can loot some of those along the way as well and I've got some venom, some poison to put on them as well because I want to try some sniping out. So I'll see you in a sec. So we've crafted her up some beast hide armor, the ring and the necklace as well for some more attack and she's got a massive uh, bone hammer as well so she's going to be doing all the damage that is her favorite weapon as well um, and during that time I did come along harvested our cotton as well so we've now got 27 bits of cotton so I can actually now go and make the coarse cotton for my um, alpaca saddle and we can take the alpaca with us that's going to help so so much I'm um, thinking I may also craft up another pickaxe so we're going to take two with us just in case one decide to die along the way which it very well could um, and on harvesting I did use the scythe and um, we got 14 more copper seeds so I'm just gonna plant those so they're on the grow while we're out and we can get some more cotton as well so we come up and we just press uh, where are we five and there we go we just basically plant them where it's uh, not red get four along She's on follow, but that's fine. Hopefully, we won't have another rain incident. Ah, now she's just in the way. Uh, a few left, but we got one left. Okay, so we'll just pop that there. Compost 11. So I'm just going to... I doubt it needs rain. We just had some rain. But we'll just grab some compost from here. And then we need to activate that stand on the crop plot. Oops, that's wrong. Why have I still got that out? I did press five. There we go. We press five and he spreads the compost. <laughs> 615. There we go. I'm not sure if the direction matters or if it's the whole, the whole lot that gets done. Now it's not working. There we go. So that should do for the moment. Right, let's put that back. Uh, we could do some corn later on as well. Right, so that's done. She's done, cotton's done. I'll pack a saddle, then we're gonna head out. So the mine is just there with some hostiles outside guarding. Not a problem, we should be able to take care of them. But being clever and thinking about this, We'll just set a campfire down, put some branches in. So it's now got almost two and a quarter hours of burn time. So we should be a-okay. We've got Outcast level nine on follow, but we want to now put her on active so she can actually do some attackings. And we're going to see what we can see. Now I don't want him to keep following. Oh, bush dog. Where's it gone? Oh, beasted. Well done, Outcast Level 9. She needs a name. Let's get on those comments. Uh, right, we'll leave the alpaca. He needs... She... She needs a name. Uh, she can stay here, and we'll call her periodically as we get further in. Because she's going to do all the carrying, obviously. So let's try this bow out. Where is one? Bring it all the way back and let go. Level 17 hasn't uh, done much damage. Right, there's one down. Nice. Helps bringing her along. These are the toughest we've come across thus far. So let's have some broth to get some uh, extra HP on the go. 820 now. Let's bandage up to cover the cost. You've got some broth on you as well, so you can have some. 
Then you're going to need a bandage as well. 823. Good. So we're similars. Uh, did they drop anything? Well, we'll have the bandage, obviously. What about this one? Bandage. What's that one? Gypsum bandage. I'm going to guess that does better. Feathers, yet yeah, we need to make some more arrows if we uh, enjoy it. Roasted pumpkin. Ooh, nommy. Flint try basic combat pants. Ah, okay, so we'll take those and try and uh, repair them. Let's venture on in. Well, that was lucky. They, uh, they took down the jag for us. We did run straight past one. On the way here uh, but it didn't follow us which was good what did we get from that premium all right comment nah. not too bad not too bad so let's call there she is and we'll grab oh go outcast level nine <laughs> Yes. I didn't see him. He was... Uh... Can I take a bath, please? Not... No, not right now. It's quite inappropriate, actually. Uh, I'll take all the bandages and the linen. We've just got an epic set of that. Right. So they're quite far down and below us. One round the corner. Oh, there's one just there. I could snipe her with my new shiny bow and arrow. Let's get the pick on the go. The music and the mood has instantly changed. It's it's quite daunting, daunting actually. All right, I'm not sure how much we'll grab, how much we should take. I've just realised I don't have my lantern or torch. Can I make one? And it's now raining outside. Where's the torch? Well, maybe it won't be too dark. Yeah, don't go running off. That uh, call mount is extremely handy. Ooh, some silver as well. Nice. Okay, and you can... Stop. We're going to go further down. There's someone. How do I cancel the draw? Anyone? Because I'd just be wasting my arrows. Oh! Get him! Oh, shoot. Nice! Absolute beast of them. She's got level 10. We are so close to level 20. Another one coming. Oh, she dodged. Down. Oh, she dodged it. I'm really enjoying the combat in this game. Now, I said on my uh, demo one that I didn't, in fact, like the combat. I thought it was a little bit janky, but now it's not so much. I actually really like it. We've got so many baddies. Get him, outcast level 10. That's not her name change. She just got an extra level. Got to check my health. Let's heal up. She's doing all right. Take, take. How many more are we going to have? Right, let's just... Uh, I've got two slots. That'll make me throw the spear further. I'm going to go... I'm going to chuck him in 
agility. I do a bit more damage in here. Alright, let's get mining. And it's a good job I brought that extra pick. It's wearing down really quite quick. So, there we go. Where's the other one? Where? Ah, a zo. It's already on my hotbar. So we may be uh, down here based on the length of our tool's durability. Did we go past any? I don't think so. Here she comes. Awesome, awesome skill. That, yeah, you can take the stone as well. Take that, and that, and that. Uh, yeah. Does it look like we'll be down here for too long? What's my weight looking like? Ah, my weight is fine. I have to say I am really enjoying this. Basic combat gloves epic. Yeah, we can try and repair all of that. And uh, give it to... Wooden arrow. I've got poisoned bone. And give it to outcast level 10. Alright, let's branch off right. There's a lot here. Oh, there's loads here. Does this, people in the comments, respawn over time? Or is it once it's mined, it's gone? Let me know, please. Grab all of this. Now... We probably will only get a bit more tin because I wanted to head over and get copper as well. There's no point wearing down this pick purely on tin. How much have we got? That's another 240 and some silver. Right, so we'll load up alpaca. See how much we've got. I'm really enjoying this. Pop that over in there. The weight is fine. We've got 659 bits of tin. I'm not sure how much is 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 needed for if it's one for one or usually it's two for one. So we'll just leave that how it is for the minute. Um, can't ride the mount inside, which is standard. So we get outside. comes right we'll grab our campfire and then we're going to make our way up to the copper now on the list it did say we would drop off these bits here but I don't think we need to because we've got cotton seeds now at home um, but the barbarian barracks we can have a look around the outside see what we've got there and then we'll get a little bit of copper whilst we're there so that's Claw Tribe. We've just had some Flint Tribes. Uh, can I pick that up whilst on? I can. And can I get the branches? I can. That's brilliant. Such a way of life thing that. To be able to do that and not have to dismount. Oh, it's brilliant. Right. Next location. We'll put it here. How far away is that one? 1 1.5. Right, we'll see you there. Um, I really enjoyed that. I say we'll see you there. We will see you there. But I really enjoyed that. Oh, there's tin outside as well. well that's a bonus. We don't have to go inside. But it's cool inside. You get uh, levels as well. Uh, first time in there. And that was great fun. It really did help have an outcast level 10 with us. Oh, no! Just keep going. Just keep going. Alpaca took a big, big hit. Half the health gone. Holy shit balls, Batman. I was going to say, please don't have taken out cast level 10 out. I'm really quite enjoying the outcast level 10 uh, combatant with me. That noise, a jaguar scared the living. 
Alpaca, you what? Oh, that's a boar. Boars, typers, I'm not too bothered about those, but the jags? No, thank you. People, we're just going to keep running straight past them. Oh my god, this is brown pants job. We're going to come across a croc in a minute. We do have some uh, revenge to take down on crocs, but uh, we'll do some croc hunting another time. Right, 900 odd meters out. We've just come across the one jag. What was that? Oh, no, we haven't. We've come across two. And now I have no idea which direction I'm going in. There we go. Outcast level 10. She's on follow. Just follow. Holy crud. I'm guessing it's not like Conan where the water is safe. Turkeys, turkeys, there's a... Oh, there's a croc! I called it. I said it. Jags, crocs, there's another jag there. Level 15. You know what? It's coming. It's seen us. We're doing it. Oh my days. Well, we took it out quickly, but the damage they do. Holy hell. We're not going for that croc. I haven't got a campfire down. And we're 2k away from the bonfire, and we're only 600 meters away from there. We'll put a campfire down when we get closer. What's her health? She's healed up. Jesus Christ. Crocs, jags. It's a good job we're on the alpaca. What's that glowy stuff? Got distracted, a ball came running. <laughs> uh, right. Hughes. Is it droppings? Is it tra Am I tracking something by doing that? I don't know. I've brought uh, sunstones with me so I can replenish my mask energy. So I'm not bothered about spamming it. Mm, no, we'll leave it. We've got we've got our list. 400 meters out. Unlock new respawn point. Ah, that's a bonus. But we'll put our campfire down, nonetheless. Hopefully, it'll stop raining. Bush dog. I didn't get the thing for the croc. Alpaca's taken a bit of a beast in. Right, 200 odd out. This is turning out to be quite the excitement. Okay, so the barracks are just up there. We're going to pop our campfire down here. Replenish the uh, fuel with some branches. Hopefully the rain will stop because it needs to be lit in order for us to respawn. But we did unlock that respawn point at the ancient ruin, so hopefully it's not all bad. We're going to leave Alpaca there. Um, the barracks look rather large. There's the mine where we want to be going. So we'll have a look at that first. Now on the list was just the copper because we want to enter the Bronze Age. Now we're level 20, we can. We've got cotton seeds. I'm going to say seeds are secondary. Copper is primary. Level 18. Really wish she was a little bit higher. Let's try the boat. No, it's not going red. That would be why. 
Now it didn't have much of a range. How can I improve on that? Alright, I need to really improve my bow skills because it's not what I was hoping for. Um, mm. It's getting dark as well now. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, just come on. Come out and play. Here she comes. Oh, I'm going to have to go. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Please don't die out, cast level 10. I'll help you out. I say I'll help you out. I'm being beasted up. Why have you brought some friends? Oh, that was a block and a half. Where is she? Bandage, bandage, bandage. My heartbeat's going. Where is this one? That, that's not fair. Ooh. A little bit quiet on that one. Tongue was out. Focused. <laughs> Obviously. Right. What have we got? An epic bone bow. Four. What does it mean? 24. 24 uh, bone arrow stone arrow now yeah, we'll grab it uh, right it seems to be getting a little bit lighter that was intense I think claw try basic combat shoes getting all the loots I think, yeah, there's the copper. There's someone just here I can see. There's copper all around there and there. So we'll probably just get this little bit if there's just one person left. I imagine there's an archer up there as well. But we've only got half a pick left anyway. Okay. Can I see someone up there? My bowing skills are not quite good enough just yet. That did nothing. Um, oh, I really wish it would get a little bit lighter. Right, let's try and just grab what we can. I can see that one in the top. I can see it. I can see it. I'd very much like to take you out. Swing and a miss. Let's get back. There's a bit here. I like it when it explodes like that. Right. Weight is getting a bit too much. Can I, or is there a way... Like in Conan, you can t tell your thrall to go and attack. Is there that? Oh, there is. F1. Attack target. If there was only one person there, which I think there is. So if I point on it and then press F1. Ah, she is. She's going in. Nice. F1. Who knew? Everyone. Okay, we're going to grab a bit more copper, call the alpaca, and then we're going to hightail it out. 
It's been a hairy, hairy adventure, but I would say successful. We'll get back, get some more cotton, get some more cotton planting, and see what we can do with all this tin and copper. There it is, pickaxe is broke. Let's call the alpaca. Let's get out. Is it too far away? He's still alive. Insufficient. Oh, call mount to follow. Yee, <laughs> teleport. Right, let's dump this 300 there. So not as much copper, obviously, but we ain't got no pickaxe. Can I not even? There we go. Right. That, I'm going to say, chaps and chapettes, was a success. Jaguar taken out. We didn't bother then going back for the croc. We didn't want to push our luck like last time with one of them. Um, but I'm pretty sure we could have taken it down, the two of us. Uh, especially with Outcast Level 10's beast of a hammer, uh, her favourite weapon. And we got some tin, we got some copper. That was all we really needed to get done. Everything else was secondary. More ancient ruins discovered. So we've got some more exploration to do. We've got the barbarian barracks to explore as well. So we've got the next few days of adventure locked and loaded. Turkey, capybara. I need to make a get some pens up for the capybaras as well. Piranha. Piranha. Right, we've got 1.1k to get home. We are going to hightail it and we'll meet you back home safe and sound to sort our inventory out. A couple of pickaxes to repair. Hopefully we don't come across anything that wants to destroy us. Wish us luck. And home sweet home. We've got Outcast level 10. She's now ended her deployment. She's just chilling by the fire with everyone else, having a good chat, telling them stories of our adventures with the jaguars and all the, the barbarian horde. <laughs> We've got alpaca just chilling. Still got all the tin and copper. Um, we have also advanced into the Bronze Age, advancement of bronze. Well chuffed about that. We hit level 20 and I've just unlocked the smelting technique, advanced carpentry and bronze tools. So that's what I'm going to work on and focus on next. So I'm just going to craft up uh, the smelter, get the tin and the bronze, that's wrong, the tin and the copper in, and we'll just see what that looks like. Uh, thinking of using this area still for it. So what do we need for the furnace? Furnace is stone, ceramic mold and clay. A lot of clay and a lot of stone. Okay. So I'm going to go and get, I think I've got most of the mats for that, but it's all around the base. I'm going to go collect all that and I'll meet you back with two shiny furnaces. Now, they do they need to be inside maybe? If they do, we can build an extension. <laughs> uh, that is not a problem. Or they could even go here. I was going to put the dining table there. Oh, we'll find out. We'll see. i got to go, uh, well, i got to fix all my stuff first and go and get the gear. Right. BRB. Okay, all the mats are gathered. We've got Outcast level 13 doing the craftings of the two furnaces, which we'll put just down the side here. So whilst he's doing that, let's have a quick recap uh, of today's adventure and we'll grab all the stuff from our alpaca. Well, not all the stuff. We'll grab the tin, silver, tin, tin and copper. All the rest can stay on for the now. Ooh, <laughs> maybe, maybe we give it back <laughs> and we'll get, we'll see Daisy, we'll get that uh, in a minute. So what did we manage to achieve? We got cotton. Uh, so we up, had the farm upgraded, we got cotton, we harvested some cotton, got some more cotton seeds and that is there ready to be harvested as well. And I'm going to go off and do some corn in a moment. We got ourselves a turkey. Um, and we've got some more feces going into the fertilizer to get us some a different type of fertilizer because different crops require different fertilizer. Um, we got an extra level on Outcast. She's now level 10 and we got to level 20 as well, which put us into 
Bronze Age, awesome. We got our saddle on alpaca, took them out for a little journey and successfully mined some tin and copper. Took out a jaguar on the way and took out some barbarians as well. And we got some flint tribe and claw tribe gear to repair up as well. So all in all, what he's done now, that was a very productive day of adventuring, I thought. Next, we're going to do some even more adventuring because we're level 20. We can go to have a look at the uh, the saber tooth up uh, here at the pyramid. Now, it says awareness recommended 20. Please let me know in the comments if that is uh, still too low and if I should be a little bit higher, perhaps um, maybe 22. I've got bronze weapons. Uh, maybe that's a thought. Please let me know in the comments what your uh, suggestions are for that, please. Highly appreciated. So there's our two furnaces. I am clearly going to be overweight. Right. Let's put them down. Uh, I'll move that. Five. Well, they can go outside. And we'll put them in that direction. One. And two. Right. Should I give them a little bit of breathing room, perhaps? <laughs> yeah. Why not? There we go. That's a bit better. So, there we go. Two furnaces on the go. Fuel. Well, let's try and put some wood in. Have you got... Oops, that's the wrong button. Pretty sure Alpaca had some wood. Yeah, we'll try some hardwood. If we split that. Because I haven't seen any coal. There we go. One hour with all that hardwood. Okay, not too bad. We can easily get more. Um, I've actually got a load more already. So that's done. Tin because I've got a little bit of tin on me. Put that in there. Tin, copper, bronze is obviously copper and tin. Two copper, one tin. Okay, so we need to go and get more copper, basically. So we'll have to do another copper run. That's fine. Oh, I've done it again, but we'll just bring him over. We'll do another copper run before going into our bronze tools and weapons and so on. Oh, I'm so excited. The next age, so to speak. Okay, so I'm going to get all this crafted up. Uh, we had a very good day of exploration. It's all to come now. We've got bronze tools, bronze weapons, more armor to make, a saber tooth to go and take out, an ancient pyramid to go and explore, barbarians to take out. All of this to come in the next few days of exploration here at Soul Mask. Thank you all for watching. If you did like it, please leave a, a like and a comment and hit the subscribe button. And as always, take care and we'll see you next time.